Here's the thing that's really important with treating cancer. People think that cancer is, is this huge, scary disease. To me, it's not anymore. It's not that it's not dangerous. It is a dangerous disease. But there are certain basic steps that you can take to protect yourself. And so the, the number one thing that we have changed in my family since I've obtained all of this knowledge and have been spreading this knowledge is a drastic change in our diet. So I used to be a competitive bodybuilder. I used to tan in the tanning beds. I used to lay out in the sun all the time. And I got burned several times. I've had several cancers on my face, on my legs, that I've taken care of with natural treatments, not surgery, not radiation, chemo. They were basal cells, and they're gone. You can't see any on my face now, but um, they were there. So I'm practicing what I preach there, but as far as the diet, very basic changes that we've made. Uh, I think good rule of thumb is when you go into the grocery store, shop around the outer edges and don't go in the middle, because in the middle is where all the processed foods are. And the processed foods today contain genetically modified organisms, most of them do, which are cancer-causing agents. Around the outer edges, if you can get organic, do it, because the, uh, the conventional produce can, is sprayed with pesticides and herbicides and fungicides. Mm -hmm. So good rule of thumb, shop around the edges, buy fruits, vegetables. I guess if you could say it this way, if God made it, it's good. If man made it, it's madness. So that's a good rule of thumb to remember, and I didn't invent that. Dr. Richard Dubutar in uh, North Carolina is the one that told me that. So that's kind of, kind of what I'd like to tell people. It's a good rule of thumb. Eat as fresh as possible. It, it's, it, I don't really tell people specifically foods they should eat, but try to eat fresh, try to eat organic. And if you can do that, you've really cleared a big hurdle as far as things that are causing cancer because I really believe that the foods that we're eating, we are eating foods that are, that are giving us cancer. 